We have some breaking news in our world lead today. Reports that the head of Al Qaeda in Yemen, long considered one of the biggest threats to U.S. national security, has been killed. Let's get right to CNN's Barbara Starr live at the Pentagon. Barbara, what exactly do we know about this man Nasser al wuhaishis reported death? Well, Jake, right now the U.S. is not confirming anything but Yemeni officials, Yemeni security officials, and a number of social media sites that are usually very reliable about al-Qaeda information are saying that Nasser al wahashi the head of al-Qaeda in Yemen, has been killed in a suspected drone strike. To be clear, the U.S. not confirming that. But if Waheshi is dead, this is a significant blow to what the U.S. has long considered the most violent, threatening element of al-Qaeda, al-Qaeda in Yemen. They have vowed to attack the United States. Their master bomb maker, a man named al-Asiri, not been caught, still alive by all accounts. If Waheshi is dead, what about him? Will he try again to reach out? They are responsible, said to be responsible for the Christmas Day bombing attempt on a U.S. airliner in 2009, said to be responsible for the attempt to put bombs disguised in printer cartridges on board airliners. They have a very long track record of being able and trying to reach out and attack the United States. Media reports say a suspected U.S. airstrike in Yemen has killed the leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, Nasser al wuhaishi Yemeni security officials said he died in an attack near the port city of Aden. If confirmed, this would represent a major setback for al-Qaeda and one of its most active branches, which has become strong since Wuhaishi broke out of a Yemeni prison and became ACAP's leader in 2009. Formerly an aide-de-camp for Osama bin Laden in Afghanistan, Wuhaishi led his branch of al-Qaeda in a series of daring operations in Yemen, in which hundreds of people have been killed. He's also thought to have plotted to down international airliners and attack U.S. embassies in the region. In January, ACAP claimed responsibility for the attack on the French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Credence to the claim has been reinforced by several messages appearing on social media in the form of praise and mourning for the fallen leader.